Ouais. Collègue, contre le mur. Non, mais... Mon chef ne me croit pas. Donne-moi ton chef. Donne-moi ton chef. The rumble of armored police trilled central Paris on Saturday, as French riot police fought to contain thousands of yellow-vested protesters venting their anger against the government in a movement that has grown more violent by the week. A ring of steel surrounded the president's Elysee Palace, a key destination for the protesters, as police stationed trucks and reinforced metal barriers throughout the neighborhood. Stores along the elegant Champs-Élysées Avenue and the Posh Avenue Montaigne boarded up their windows as if bracing for a hurricane but the storm struck anyway Saturday, this time at the height of the holiday shopping season. Protesters ripped off the plywood protecting the windows and threw flares and other projectiles. French riot police repeatedly repelled them with tear gas and water cannon. Saturday's yellow vest crowd was overwhelmingly male, a mix of those bringing their financial grievances to Paris, the center of France's government, economy, and culture, along with groups of along with groups of experienced vandals who tore steadily through some of the city's wealthiest neighborhoods, smashing and burning. Police and protesters also clashed in other French cities, notably Marseille, Toulouse, and Bordeaux, and in neighboring Belgium. Some protesters took aim at the French border with Italy, creating a huge traffic backup near the town of Ventimiglia. The French government's plan was to prevent a repeat of the December 2nd rioting that damaged the Arc de Triomphe, devastated central Paris and tarnished the country's global image. It did not succeed even though it was better prepared. Although Saturday's protest in the French capital started out quietly, tear gas choked the Champs-Élysées Avenue by early evening. Interior Minister Christophe Castaner said that 135 people had been injured and 974 taken into custody amid protests around the nation. Paris police headquarters counted 71 injuries in the capital, seven of them police officers. An estimated 125,000 people had demonstrated around France while 10,000 took their anger to the streets of Paris, double the number in the capital last week, he said. Toughening security tactics, French authorities deployed 8,000 security officers in the capital alone, among the 89,000 who fanned out around the country. A Starbucks near the Champs-Élysées was smashed wide open and protesters were seen stepping over broken glass and serving themselves to beverages. The window of a nearby bank was smashed in with the wrought iron decoration used to encircle city tree trunks. Yeah.